Hi, today I'm showing you the FS700, great camera, um, excellent sensor, motorized lens um, capability for normal video operation in a normal environment, plus you get the cinema style with the big sensor and, and lens adapters. Here today I'm recording 25p, settings for the camera to remember is whatever you're recording internally, you need to make that, um, so I'm going to record 25p internally and then I'm going to change my video out to be 25p and there I get 25p on my screen. We can do the same with 24p and 30p. If you want to record um, 60i you just change that internally or 50i. Uh, if you the s one thing to note, the Samurai doesn't support 60p or 50p, so for those slow motion, etc. We do record the slow motion from the camera, but we only record it at 30p, um, or 50i and 60i and 25p. So you still get the slow motion, it's just coming out at a different frame rate. The 60p um, is only output, um, the 60p is only output to uh, in the internal card. So we, we don't take the 60p. Okay, so now, in order to sit, so I'm all set up on the camera now in the formats that I would like to record. Now, to, to start stop trigger, this camera does not have over HDMI or SDI any start stop flags. It does have time code though, and we have a function which is this one here called the time code record function. When we, when we touch that, when I hit record on the camera, the time code starts moving and we start to record. If I hit stop on the camera, time code stops, we stop recording. You must be in rec run for this to work, it won't work in free run but you can externally record, or you can obviously hit both at the same time, which is a little bit troublesome. So, S Sony FS700, great little camera. Um, make sure you got the settings right on the Samurai. You definitely want to record in Progressive if you can, um, unless you're delivering in 60 and 50i, in which case you can record to that on the Ninja as well.